Hey guys, this is Pastor Mark up at Union Chapel. I wanted to come to you on this Friday afternoon and talk about, I guess, the events that happened on a Friday afternoon just like this about 2,000 years ago. We call it Good Friday. And we call it Good Friday because that's when Jesus was crucified, but I have to admit, as a child growing up, that always got me a little confused. It was called Good Friday, yet it was a bad event that took place. So today, I wanna to talk about the crucifixion and Good Friday, and I wanna point out a few things to you by having you think of a word. It's the word recognition. So everybody's aware of the crucifixion, but not everybody recognizes the crucifixion as being good. And I think how we see the crucifixion is, is critically important to what we believe about God. So the question today is, do we really understand and recognize the crucifixion for what it really is? Some people see the crucifixion as a tragedy. Tragedy is a disastrous event, and I think in some ways, I guess that's true. You know, it's the it's kind of a gruesome death and and gruesome death of, a, of an innocent man, and you could think of it that way. And I don't disagree. And in fact, First Peter three eighteen says that Jesus suffered on the cross for our sin, the just for the unjust, that He might bring us to God. And in that sense, absolutely, it's a terrible event. But here's a challenge to you. Can we think for a moment about what the crucifixion means to us and get a full understanding of the whole picture of the crucifixion? I think of the word miracle. A miracle is an extraordinary event where God intervenes in the affairs of human beings. And I think that's a wonderful way to think about the crucifixion. God intervening by sending His Son, Jesus Christ, to die for us on the cross. That's a, that's a great explanation of what happened on Calvary. That helps us to recognize the crucifixion as a miracle. And even though we grieve over the suffering of Christ, we have to recognize the fact that this is a miracle. In fact, the things that Jesus did on the cross on that Good Friday, they created this miracle of crucifixion, this miracle of forgiveness that we enjoy today. And we ought to praise God for that miracle. And so I have to say too that you can't really recognize the miracle of the crucifixion without recognizing the, the identity of the man on the cross. You see, if, if it was only a regular man that died on the cross that day, then this miracle of crucifixion just becomes another execution but I'm convinced by the Bible that this crucifixion and this Good Friday were a lot different in fact scripture tells us on that day that there was darkness from about three o'clock in the afternoon till six o'clock at night kind of reminds me of the eclipse that we had in 2017 I can remember it well we were out uh, in in the backyard and and everything got dark like in the middle of the day it was a really strange feeling and I want you to think about that if you experience that, you know what I'm talking about. But imagine feeling that feeling, seeing that darkness for three hours. And it's not only the darkness, but there was an earthquake and the Bible says the rocks split in two and the veil of the temple was torn from top to bottom. The soldiers that were around the cross, they were scared to death. And one soldier, he said of Jesus, truly this was the Son of God. And I want you to think about that. It took this eclipse, this darkness, and this earthquake for the soldier to realize who Jesus really is. Guys, this Good Friday, I hope that it doesn't take an eclipse, I hope it doesn't take an earthquake for us to realize who Jesus is, for us to recognize that Jesus is the only Son of God. He's that man on the cross to realize that the crucifixion is not a tragedy, it's a miracle. This is Friday. Sunday's coming. God bless you.